Hi there, this is Mo Volans for Tuts Plus. And if you've been following these subtractive synthesis quick tips, you'll know that we were using FabFilter's excellent one synth. Uh, now I've moved on to Yuhi's Diva because we've stepped things up a little and things are going to get a little bit more complex now. Um, we've already looked at, in the last video, um, we looked at uh, sample and hold effects using a timed LFO. Uh, and this time we're going to look at sort of another classic effect and that's like an acid bass and how to create the slides that occur in sort of most bass machines, including the 303. Um, in the last video, I also told you I've got head cold, so please bear with me uh, with the sounds that I'm making. Um, I'm pretty bunged up. But I will soldier on and try and do this as uh, as well as possible. So I've just initiated uh, initialized the uh, Diva, and we've just got one saw wave oscillator. It's actually the Jupiter Ray um, initialization, but it's I think it's the, the clearest layout for teaching. So we've just got a single saw wave here. Okay, I actually paused there and, and went away and created a quick pattern because I realized I didn't have one and I wasn't just going to play it for you on the keyboard. Um, so what I've done is I've created a really simple MIDI pattern and uh, this is just to sort of demonstrate. In fact, I'll just close Diva down a second. And it's just looping around, okay? So it's really, really simple and it's just really to demonstrate something that I'm going to show you as far as modulation goes. Now, like I said, we've just got a single saw wave. So if we play the pattern back, and we add a bit of resonance maybe, not much is gonna happen. Now, currently we're in polyphonic mode down here. And this is just a playback mode. And essentially this means that we can play back chords. I don't know, I think we've got eight voices assigned there, but you can assign 16. Um, but this isn't really gonna work for this pattern. So we could go to monophonic, and that's just gonna allow us to play one note. Uh, but what we want here is legato, and I'll show you why in a second. Now, if I add glide in, say, monophonic mode, let's just switch back to mono, and I add glide. It's gonna glide on every note. And that's not really what we want here. It sounds pretty cool, but I wanna be able to selectively add glide, all right? So if we go to legato mode and add the glide back in, hopefully, the way that I've programmed the pattern, you shouldn't hear any glide. Oh, you can hear one. Let's have a look why. That's because these are nearly overlapping. In fact, they're touching. If I do that, you should now hear no glide at all. In fact, let's cycle it just on two bars. Perfect. Now, as I've sort of given away, you can um, overlap these notes and selectively add glide to the overlap notes. And it works best if the notes are reasonably far apart. So let's say we start to put these an octave apart. And you can glide, say, three in a row. And you just have to have them touching, really. And let's see what happens if we put this an octave up. We can even go higher. And now let's start to add some filtering and some envelope to the filter. Bit of delay. Oh, <laughs> 
Just take these very, very high notes out. I think it's messing with one of them. But you get the idea. We get a really nice acid effect. Bit of FM frequency modulation there. And of course, you can change the glide amount. And this is just a really good way of selectively adding glide. And it gives you that sort of acid effect. I'm sure if you spent time with the sound and added some distortion, you could get pretty close to a 303 effect with more or less any synth. Um, you know, you it doesn't really have to be a 303. And I think you can get much more interesting effects by, you know, layering oscillators and stuff like you saw there. But essentially, you want to be in legato mode, you then want to uh, time the glide correctly, and then you want a sequence that allows you to overlap notes. And remember, those contrasting, you know, uh, octaves are going to work better uh, in this case. So there you go. That's uh, how to create classic glide effects. And then uh, in the next couple of quick tips, we'll go into some more uh, sort of similarly advanced or intermediate, I guess, uh, synth techniques. Uh, if you've got any comments or requests, just let me know and I'll try and get on them as soon as possible. Cheers.